Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I'm here with just a couple of quick project shares. Uh, I made a, um, a small doily wall hanging a while back and I forgot to make a video of it. But this is my wall hanging and I used this little image here and I just thought she was so pretty. And um, she was holding a flower in her hand so I added a clay flower. And then I added this little acrylic flower to look like it was on her headband. I started off with this beautiful doily here that somebody um, sent me. And it's uh, this is all tatted. It's a tatted doily. And I don't use them too often because I just love tatting. And then there's um, another doily in front of that. And then there's a smaller Battenberg doily in front of that and I know you can't see much of any of them and this white one is actually a heart doily and then uh, I just started um, embellishing once I got the image on and I put a couple of different appliques over here with the little rhinestone button and I added this trim to the bottom and the top and then I did a cluster here, different um, appliques, and this um, fabric flower. That's from Craft Supplies for You. And then this really pale, pale pink butterfly. And then under that, here's a beaded trim, a piece of a beaded trim I had, and a couple of dangle trims. Uh, let's see, let me see if I can show you. Here's, I was using pieces, I was trying to use snippets. And here's one, and then here's another piece. And I believe this was in Craft Supplies for You, but I think it's out. And then this piece behind here with the flowers, the embroidered flower, um, for, just for some stability. And on the back, um, I didn't do anything. I just added my little name tag there. So I didn't do a lot to this. Oh, in the top, I used seam binding to hang it. And then I um, took this, I call it like a daisy trim. I took p two pieces and just turned it into a flower with another uh, rhinestone button in the middle. So there's that. And then I made a few more of those um, doily dangles, I call them. <laughs> So I started off with this doily here. I added a little um, furry hanger. This is so soft and I had a little piece left so I figured I'd use that. And then a larger um, acrylic button from what I, from this, like this one here. Uh, this is a rose dangle. And I added some acrylic flowers to that. Here's the little image with um, the crochet around it from uh, Vita's Etsy shop and there's a, um, a bridal applique this here underneath that from Craft Supplies for You um, a button with um, it's like a uh, like a bronzy color flat back pearl and then the rhinestones here's a tiny clay flower on a tiny little heart somebody made me crocheted heart Here's the crocheted butterfly that same uh, person made for me with a little um, clay flower in the middle of that. And then here's like three three different little flower appliques. And then the acrylic flower in the middle and this has the dangle there. And then I'll show you from the back the dangles. So I use snippets. So there's this piece here. There's this piece here, and this is uh, what Julie calls the butter, um, I was going to say butterfly, but it's a peacock lace that she has in the store. And then this snippet here, and this little snippet here. So that's this one, and I'll show you. Again, I might have been a little close. If, if I am and I went out of focus, uh, I do apologize, but I can't really see what I'm what I'm showing all the time and then there's this one and this features the um, the applique from the shop um, 
a lot better than the others and then I put some tool behind it and I started off with this doily here and here's um, another like flower dango piece and I added my little clay flowers and the rhinestone button this is also from craft supplies for you and she does have these in stock and more snippets let's see it's easier to show from the back I think this piece here and these dangles here so I guess this could be a DT project but it's not I still have DT projects to do but um, if I use Julie's trims I always try to remember to to um, let you know so I started off with this um, lavender doily and I'm not sure but I think Trisha might have sent me that and here's some uh, purple seam binding for a hanger and then uh, she this is a bridal piece here and I think it's almost the same like the same applique um, like this one only that was dyed also and I believe that's that was from Trisha too and this is a piece of a bridal applique a separate one that I put on top these little snippets here uh, Trisha had sent me so much lavender pieces that I'm almost positive these are from her and if they're not then I apologize to the person that sent them to me but um, I wish I could remember everything everybody sends me here's a piece here that I added a, a flower to and a flower applique to and one of my purple acrylic flowers and underneath there's some dangles there's this one and there's more in lavender this one here so that's it those are my project shares um, I wanted to make sure that any of you that watch my videos that don't like the live um, the live shows will um, stay with me because I will show as many um, project shares as I can and I'm trying to figure out something new to do for um, start to finish without using my camera so um, when I get when I know I have that perfected then uh, and those won't be live videos they'll they'll just be start to finish with me showing you um, how I make something from the beginning to the end so I guess that's it um, if you'd like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll be back again with more project shares and a design team project. So bye for now.